Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech. And do you know that feeling when you're stuck? You need to get a task done, or in my case, I need to set up a video, and there's a hundred thoughts in your head, and because you just don't know how to get started, you start doing anything except that. That's basically my day. Now, I have a fix for that, and I'll need to show it to you. And this is my magic weapon. Uh, it's my thinking corner. I know it's a wall, but you know, I don't I can't use all the corners in my studio But I love it. I love it because it's analog and I can just do stuff with it without thinking I got a couple of good pens and I just write stuff down With my terrible handwriting, but I can read it and that's the important bit now This thing is mostly empty when I'm not using it sometimes like my last thoughts are on it uh, I've seen other people that have like a whole system on it and like a daily marker and things like that and my suggestion there would be get a second whiteboard, get a smaller whiteboard, put it somewhere where you're not doing your thinking because here I don't want any distractions. This is for when my mind has like a zillion things in it and I need to get it out and that's, that's what I do with this. Now I have another small trick and that is this thing in the corner. This is my tablet holder and the main reason it's right next to the whiteboard is because I want to get information. So I usually use it to consult Obsidian or Notion or sometimes to do it, but usually I know which problem I'm stuck with, to get information that I need to get out of my systems and onto the board to think about it. So if I want to look something up, this is super easy. The construction looks very complicated, but it's not. It's just some pipe from a do-it-yourself store and a couple of hangers. It's like 10 bucks and a few screws. Also, you can make this a lot simpler. You can just get one of those suction cup phone holders you have for your car. You might already have one of those and just stick it to the whiteboard and you can, you know, have your phone open while you have your hands free to think and do. Whiteboards in themselves aren't that expensive. Depends a bit on how big you want them and if you want like fancy sides like I have in this case. Actually, it's a lack of sides, but you know, you pay extra for less in this world. Um, but you can get like pretty cheap whiteboards for probably 20, 30 bucks. If you don't want to spend that kind of cash or you don't have a space to hang it, uh, something that I did before, and let me grab that, you can buy, buy these uh, plastic static sheets. So this is for a video I'm trying to make for hardship shipbreaker and I worked that out by just sticking that to a door. You don't need magnets for it, you can just Toss it to a wall. You can get these at a lot of office supply stores for, I think, 10 bucks. You get like 25 sheets. You can reuse them. It's not perfect, but you can. Uh, and that's a nice way to figure out if a whiteboard helps you without investing and screwing into your walls. So when I'm working on this thing, I tend to work left to right. This is very personal. But to me, this is where I start adding, brain dumping my thoughts. And then I move towards the right and I have like end results here that I import back into my systems. And it all starts with something very... <clears throat> Let's get rid of this. Anyway. And it all starts with something very simple, something that I like, a mind map. And because I know I'm gonna work from left to right, I don't put it like smack dab in the center, though I very often do because I'm in a non-thinking mode. But I try to get it like a bit like to the left and then just write my problem in the middle of it. And the reason why I write the problem in the middle of it is so that I have like this constant reminder. And one of the reasons why I'm stuck, why I'm just, I can't get anything done is because there's too many thoughts in my head and I can't organize them. Now, you shouldn't try and organize them here and then put them on the board, because if you would do that, you might as well chuck it straight into Notion, you know, because you, then you're not really stuck. You just need to do the work. I'm stuck. So what I start doing is I'm just starting to write down any thought that I have. So I just write things down that are in the top of my head. And then later, once it's all on the board, then I start figuring out how to make something from it. So this thing, keep it simple. Just write thoughts, put thoughts on the side. Anything that pops into your head, get it on there. Because you have like a, a capacity on how much you can keep in your head. And if all the thoughts are in your head, you don't have any capacity to organize. It's a bit like having one of those old puzzles 
if there's no open spot, you can't solve the puzzle. The more open spots you would have, the easier it becomes to solve the puzzle. So the thing that I've noticed is because all the things in my head go on this and my brain knows now, okay, it's there. I don't need to do anything with it. Halfway through, my mind starts to clear up. I start to see the bigger picture, basically. And that's where phase two of this comes in. And I'm gonna give a short example of this. I'm gonna try to keep it short. Uh, and that's, I'm working on like a video for NHN, which is a Zapier replacement. A video will pop up in the future. So be sure to stick around if you like any of those. Um, and what I then do, and this is not gonna make sense. That's the whole idea. So I write down NHN. And then I think about like, what's related to this? So it's a bit like uh, Zapier. And if this, then that. And all these small thoughts is like, you know, what do I want to talk about? So okay, it runs local, there's a cost thing, it runs on your desktop. Writing all these thoughts down, I clear up the space in my head and then I can start thinking about it. So let's process this and I'll show you how I do that. Once I got this mind map, I need to get it into Notion or Obsidian or whatever tool you're using. In my case, it's usually Notion because that's like the next step in my process. And I start by getting out a smaller pen. So I got the large pens for thinking, the regular uh, whiteboard pens. And I got one of these, well, smaller pen tip uh, pens to do like detail work once I'm done. It allows me to write finer and to make like a nice list. On the right, I do a top down approach. So usually when I'm doing videos, it's something like a table of contents and I just go top to bottom. So I'm gonna like, okay, I'll have like an intro. And then I'll talk about uh, price and that it's hard to use. Now I'm doing it a bit large here because I want you people to be able to read it a bit. But normally when I'm doing this, it becomes much smaller. So I'm gonna give you a quick, when it becomes smaller, uh, I write cleaner because my hands are more used to that than the large writing. And then while I'm doing this, I just, consult this mind map and find the information. So over time, you get like this whole list of information. On average, when I do something like this, this list is very uh, flexible. Sometimes it's something for Todoist, so it's like the steps that I need to do to solve my problem. Uh, and that means I just have checkboxes with things in it and then roughly in the order that I need to do it. Um, and really weird, but if I would do this straight out, I would have to rearrange it in Todoist. And when I do it on the board and I have it all here and I start writing here, for some reason it just flows in immediately the right order and I can just type it over in whatever tool I need for it. So when it's status, it goes into Todoist. And when it's something like the table of contents for a video, it goes straight into Notion, which I have open here because it's the same system yesterday. Another problem that you then have is then you have this nice whiteboard, <laughs> how to get it back into your system. Now for Notion, what I do is I just uh, grab my phone, grab that one, and I make a picture. Uh, and I don't make a picture of the whole board, at least I did initially, but I've noticed that I actually only need the end result. This is in between. You can make a picture if you want to keep it just for safekeeping, if you're not sure if you need it later. What I just do is I just make a portrait, so like a high picture of this. I try to zoom in a bit. And let me show you how I then process it further in Notion. But for that, I need to get back to the desk. Okay, now that we have that picture, let's see if we can get it into Notion. So the first thing that I do is I create a document and I add two columns. As an example, I'll create a demo video because I already did this uh, in my NHN video, but we just wanna have a quick showing here. I use one of my templates and it should load fine. And then I have like the outline and script. And what I do there is I usually make like a second column. I really need to update the template, but every time I do this, I forget. And now I'm doing it again, which is fine because this is just a demo. Then I go to Google Photos because my phone, like Google Photos, syncs and I find an example. This is the one for this video. And I do a copy image, then go back here and just paste it there. And one of the things that I like about it is now when I'm working on it, I can type on the left and go like uh, intro. No one, I feel stuck. And just go through the list 
and add all the steps, which is trivial. I don't even need to think for it. I just put some headphones on, some music, and I go through it. Now, you also see here that I have a couple of checkboxes in it. And if I have checkboxes in it, that usually means that I need to add it to Todoist or it's something that I really specifically want checkboxes for in Notion. Both cases, I usually know, so I'll make a judgment call when I read them. And finally, once I have this whole setup done, and I'll do a quick example on it. So I'm cheating a bit here and just copying it from the video because I already did this work and there's no point in you watching me type. Then finally, once I have everything here, I usually just make this column smaller. And the reason I make it smaller is because I don't need the picture anymore. Everything's on the left, but I still want it there just in case. I need it at some point, and this is one of the easiest ways, because when I open it on my tablet later, by having it move to the side, I get like most of the lines for reading my video. Now I do the exact same thing when I'm trying to solve anything where I need to get steps, but instead of like steps for making a video, it becomes steps to solve a specific problem. And I try to make those steps as small as possible. So things like call X, ask for Y, wait for response, get something back so things like that is what you need to keep in mind usually once i get to this point i'm in like a workflow state and i can just keep going but this is it works like magic and i don't know why <laughs> i just know that if i'm sitting here and i can't get anything done this is the way i get going and remember you're awesome keep it up Never can get it fully clean.